Hi, thank you for tuning in to my physio yoga channel. My name is Shelly and I am in beautiful Costa Rica for a medical therapeutic yoga alumni retreat where a bunch of us healthcare professionals get together and we share ideas on what we're doing out there um, as we bring medical therapeutic yoga into our practice. And what I shared with the group this week is the importance of awareness. So no matter what your intention is for your session or for yourself, if, uh, if you're practicing yourself, uh, whether it's for stability or strengthening or mobility or um, more mental health issues, you want to address anxiety, depression, uh, or pain, uh, if, you, if you want to use yoga as a pain management tool or pain reduction uh, tool, the, the first step is always awareness. So cultivating the state of uh, presence and awareness of the surroundings and then within your own body is, is and your mind and emotions and is what I, what I shared with the group. So to do that, I start with the cultivating awareness of the five senses so looking at keeping your eyes open and looking at all of the colors and shapes dimensions textures and it helps if you're outside if you can um, and then also going to the sense of sound hearing all the sounds that you can hear and where they're coming from without an elaborative story behind them and watching the the thoughts and the mind and the emotions as you are tuning into these senses and then of course the the sense of smell so all of the aromas around you and the sense of taste so even tasting what's in your mouth and the sense of touch and that's you know you can you can notice the temperature of the air on your skin where the clothes touch your body where your parts, what parts of your skin touch the surface below you. And you can be in any position for this, standing, sitting, lying down. So just doing a, an awareness practice of all your five senses and then taking it in. And what I mean by that is um, withdrawing the senses. So in, in yoga, one of the limbs is pratyahara, which is withdrawal of those senses and really going, really going within, inside. And we can also look at that as interoceptive awareness and that is the physiological state inside your body so things like it's your heart can you feel your heart rate can you sense your your tummy is it do you feel hungry full bloated um, muscle deep muscle sensations physical sensations like pain or discomfort and and in my videos and, and you can find a lot of different resources out there I go through in my uh, DVD I go through body scans and that's a nice way to cultivate physical body awareness deep inside the body and then um, I also shared a breath awareness practice so if if you want right now you can you can join me in that I'll just take a couple minutes so you can you can close your eyes if you like and comfortable get into a comfortable position it doesn't matter what position it's in and just start to pay attention to the breath as it enters and exits your nostrils. And notice the rate of the breath, the pace, the depth. And notice the length of the inhalation compared to the exhalation. And notice if there's any gaps between your inhale and your exhale, or if it's a continuous motion. But don't try to change anything. So right now all we're doing is just watching and just observing. And just watch when the mind wanders, because it will. It's a tool, that's what it does. Just bring it back to the breath. And notice the temperature of the breath. Maybe it's different as you inhale through the nostrils. Maybe it feels more cool and dry. 
versus when you exhale, maybe it's more warm and moist. Notice if you're breathing more through one side of the nostril than the other. Notice if the breath feels smooth or rigid or harsh. Again, watch the thoughts and the stories. You don't have to resist them, just watch and observe and come back to the breath compassionately again and again and again. And notice how the breath is moving in your body. Maybe the more obvious areas, the ribs or the belly. And then maybe more subtle areas. See if you can notice if the breath is moving through shoulders or shoulder blades or into the pelvic floor, the hips. There's an energetic sense of the breath into the legs, to the arms. And then take your time and slowly open your eyes if they were closed. And that, that was just a quick example of a breath awareness practice. And stay tuned, we'll, uh, we'll do more awareness practices. And have a beautiful day no matter where you are. Tomorrow I'm going back to minus 25 uh, degrees and snow and cold back in Alberta, Canada. Um, so, it, you know, and I'm going to do this there too, I'm going to get all bundled up and go outside and take in the nature. Um, so you don't have to be at a place like this to do this kind of stuff, although it's kind of nice. <laughs> Namaste.